professional publishers, I've just seen something really cool, a great way to get a lot more engagement on your uh, blog, publishing site, website, and it's called Ertech. We're going to see it, and you're going to see why Glenn Beck had 200,000 people use this on just one page. It's amazing stuff. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Mark Lee Thon. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Ertech. I was uh, born and raised in Toronto, Canada, and I uh, left my homeland when I, uh, when I was 18 to, to go and study at Harvard, where I met my co-founder, Aaron Gibraltar, on the very first day. And what are you uh, co-founding? Ertech is a question and answer tool that can be embedded on your content, and uh, it increases engagement and captures much more audience response. And this is for professional publishers, right? It's not something I'm going to do on Facebook or do on Twitter or anything like that. It's for people like you know Glenn Beck or me, and we're going to put this underneath our content, right? Well, it's definitely uh, capable of standing up to professional use, and when we like, it, we love it when when professional publishers use it. But it's simple enough and powerful enough that you can use it no matter how big your following is to get good response from them. And so, uh, it's a poll, right? And so I ask a question, and it has to be a yes or no question? A yes question. or no question. Okay. Well, it's, it's a new kind of poll. We call it a collaborative poll. Because, you know, you do a poll to find out what people are thinking. But if you don't know what they're thinking already, how can you know what questions to ask them? Right. So Ertech lets everyone ask questions. And all the questions you write are answered yes, no, or don't care. And that's just to keep things really simple and so that we can compare the results of any two questions. And in fact, we built an algorithm that, uh, that uh, the more you answer don't care, the less that question will get asked. So don't care is like a quality control. All right. And the, pr the professional publisher, so yeah. if I write an article on yeah. the new iPhone, for instance, I, I fill in one or two or three or what, however many questions I want to ask, but then the audience can ask questions too? That's right. That's okay. exactly how it works, is you seed or attack with a few questions and share those with your audience. The audience can answer them, and if they're so inspired, and they often are, they can add questions of their own. So what's a boring and ordinary poll becomes a, a living, growing conversation. And people, when they answer the question, they click yes or no, they see what percentage of... That's uh, right. There's an attractive little pie chart there that shows you the results. If you roll over the pie chart, you can see the exact numbers of who answered yes, who answered no, how many people voted, that right. kind of thing. Are you hooking this into Facebook or Twitter? So if my answers, if I answer answers, do they go back out to Facebook or anything uh, that's, like that? That's one of the, the very next features we're going to introduce. Okay. So that's coming soon, but not coming yet. Soon, coming soon, but not yet, unfortunately. Okay. And um, do you study any of the demographics then uh, of the people, you know, because can you see what country they're answering from or can you see whether they're male or female or anything like that? Absolutely. I mean, one of the reason we started the project is because we wanted to give a tool that could let anyone collect good quality information, good quality opinion information. And the way the demographics are done right now is really by the questions themselves. So if you want to find out where people are from, you ask them, you know, are you from the United States? If you want to find out whether people are male or female, you ask them, are you a man? Because what we really felt is that depending on the group, the demographics, the demographic or psychographic questions you might, might, might want to ask really varies. Yeah. If you're here at Techstars asking, are you a man, it's kind of a silly question because we're all, they picked the, we're all men here. Yeah. So you might want to ask, you know, are you uh, from the East Coast? Are you from the West Coast? In, uh, in a Glenn, Beck, Glenn Beck's audience, it might not be that useful to ask, you know, are you a religious believer? But you might want to ask, are you a Lutheran? Are you a Methodist? Are you an Evangelical? So depending on the group, the question that splits and the question that unites is always going to be different. Interesting. Uh, why did you come up with this? Uh, I studied history in college, and I was always interested in the history of ideas. That's to say, how do ideas change over time? So say, let's imagine, one of the things I started was with the history of the French Revolution. So in 1788, you've got the King of France, and everyone bows down to him, and people watch him go to the bathroom, and that's the biggest honor there is. Five years later, you have a democratic parliament that's debating whether or not they should cut his head off. So I was always interested in studying that. How do you measure opinions? And so what I really felt, and when, with my co-founder Aaron, what we really felt is that the problem with the way opinion research is being done is that the people who ask the questions are very few in number, and they're the same people every time. So we felt, well, you know, YouTube lets you be a broadcaster, blogging lets you be a journalist. How come there's no tool out there that lets you be a pollster? Yeah. And uh, here we are. Um, is this a free tool, or do you charge for it? And how are you guys going to make money? It's absolutely a free tool. 
Um, we, that's one of the things we want to do from the start. It's a tool that anyone can use no matter how much money you have. And the way we think we're going to be able to make money is um, to sell, um, we're going to allow high volume pro pro professional publishers to insert sponsored questions into the Earthtech flow. Because when Earthtech is on a page, the eyeballs are there. They're not looking at your banner ads. They're there. If someone's answering 25 questions, they're looking at Earthtech. So why not insert a sponsored question you know, one in 10 times and, um, and monetize that engagement? Do you think the new VW Beetle is cool, yes or no? Exactly, or right? Are you thirsty? Sponsored by Coca-Cola. <laughs> Oh man, that will be an interesting world. Are you guys funded, or tell me what what state your company's in? Um, right now, we've we've raised a small seed investment, and that that's enabled us to grow from a team of two to a team of five. Yeah. And right now, we're coming up on uh, TechStars Demo Day in a week, and we're looking to raise an, a round that will really let our team grow, especially ahead of the big opportunity, which is uh, the upcoming presidential election. Oh, absolutely, it's going to be a fun um, thing to use next year. Absolutely. What's the, from an infrastructure standpoint, since this is real time and you're getting yeah. some uh, incredible flows, I mean, I mean, we talked about Glenn Beck, you yeah. have, had 200,000 people answer one question on one page? Well, it was 200,000 responses. 200, so about, so, so about, so about 7,000 people actually participated in that poll. And uh, yeah, th uh, there were times when we were getting about five responses a second. So it, it, it is uh, difficult for us to keep up with the demand. Sometimes we've never, we're, we're very robust. Uh, my co-founder, Aaron, our CTO, is uh, very very focused on on robust on robust infrastructure and, and a site that never goes down because we are a network we can't go down just because Glenn Beck is using us. Yeah. We're built on Ruby on Rails and 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 it's it is a very robust service. It's perhaps we know we've gone a little slower than we might have, but we've got a tool that it can stand up to the punishment. Very cool. Um, where do I learn more about it? Well, you can check it out at EarthTech.com. We've got uh, you know our how to our FAQ. You can uh, visit our public opinions, which is our Ertech blog, blog.ertech.com. That's an interesting mix of commentary and, and use cases. Yep. And uh, Google us. You know, there's a few articles that have been written about us. There's good ones in, uh, and hopefully on Scobalizer soon enough. Very cool. Thank you so much. Well, Thanks thank for you. showing it to me. And thank you so much. I love the polls. So I'm going to be playing it.